So can you able to see my screen? Guys, can you able to see my screen, right? All of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So any idea about a Palo Alto guys? What is the five wall? So as you know, this is a day one. So today we shall discuss it's just the basic introduction part. <clears throat> right? Vikas, are you there? Yes, Dutch. I'm online. What is firewall? Why? What is the purpose of the firewall? Why okay. you are using the firewall? It's just for uh, acts as a uh, security layer for the for the, uh, for the packets for IP packets kind of thing. Means it uh, provides a local system protection. Mm -hmm. In general terms, it's uh, it is like a security guard for one uh, bank or any this thing. So any unmoded uh, packets or any malware or anything, if it, any attacks or anything happens, it is filtered out and it identifies that it is true. Okay. It has several types. One can just identify and show that one. Let's say for example, antivirus. It can detect, but it cannot uh, recover it. It's a software based. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so my request is to all the guys. Okay, so please enroll yourselves in the Palo Alto Network website. Okay, I'll show you that. Yeah. Okay, uh, for all the people, like uh, it could be helpful for you guys. So, Palo Alto, uh, we can, I'll share the slides in the chat, like uh, these slides and some uh, document. And today, tomorrow, just the basic introduction and basic lab will do it. Okay, so I request all the guys to please uh, install in your laptop where you require the high-end laptop. So it is not going to work in 8 GB of RAM. Okay, uh, because you know by default, if you put the like, firewall, the default is going to take the 8 GB of RAM of your RAM. Okay, so as I told you that. So if you use one more router to connect to uh, to configure your inside and outside zone. Okay, so it's not going to work. It's going to hang. By default, you know, Azure Windows 10 is going to take the minimum 2 GB of your RAM. So it's not going to work out. So minimum 16 GB required. Okay, or else you just buy the server. Or else you can install in, uh, in your cloud if you have an account, uh, AWS or Azure, whichever the cloud uh, you have it. So I think you can see, right, uh, general advice, like major topics, uh, which we can see on your screen. Can you see, right, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, 
see these are the few major like topics like which uh, we are going to discuss in coming session so we can see like uh, administrative management uh, device configurations comet overload network architectures security policies and uh, white fire like url filtering dlp okay so what is this uh, main why the this firewall has become very popular okay there are a few things which we, we should understand okay so i think you know for security so we can use this one also right your uh, cisco firewall cisco device cisco router mm. right cisco device also we can use it so where you can connect your uh, this is your inside and where it is connected it will go to your isp and this is uh, we'll call the outside so basic level of configurations so we can configure like your we can do acl right mm. right so i'm talking i'm talking about like what is a firewall why it is required So it has become very popular. So we, even we can do in ACL, right? I think you stated the ACL, uh, ACL and CCNA. So what are the different types of uh, ACL guys? Do you remember? ACL and the named ACL. Okay. Planet access list and uh, extended access. Extended list. access, yes. Correct. Yes. Then? Divided into named and numbered. Okay, so what is the main, uh, what it does, guess, uh, what option it will give? So before I could start, I'll explain the content later. Okay, so this is the content, guys, which I'm going to discuss. The content, see, guys, this is very huge. So why it is required, guys? So first tell me, how does ACL works? How does ACL works? So for mm -hmm. your uh, these things, so let me uh, give some like, idea. Like permit or deny. Uh, so imagine this is your router and where you are connecting for your switch and where you are connecting your end user devices. I say, I think uh, this is your ISP. So what is the basic idea, guys? So you know uh, what you are going to configure here. We are going to configure your net right here. So where this inside any one of this guy want to access the internet, okay, this will convert the IP address. Say example, this is your 4.4.4.4. And this is your, you're running some network. So 192, 168, 1 24. So what is going to do is going to convert from private IP address to public IP. Yeah. Correct, this is the job of your NAT, right? Yes. Okay, so this is how it going to work. So <coughs> then we are applying the ACL, right? Yeah. Please allow this all network to access your ISP. So then it will go and access here we are running some web server a lot of servers we are running in isp okay so what is the job of the acl of course you have the three types right standard acl extended extended and named ACL. and named acl so the, these acls which we studied in your ccna yes right Okay, now you tell me, okay, so why we are using uh, this ACL here? What are the applications like? What is the use of using the ACL here? Because if you understand better ACLs, then we can understand the, what exactly the firewall is. So what's the basic level of uh, filtration? Yes, okay, fine, fair enough. Basic level of uh, this, okay. So for example, this is my Google server and this is my one more server. 
a lot of server are running in internet. <clears throat> The, what else? What is the main task it does here? ECL. So okay. ECL, what it does is whether it will block the entire network, right? Okay. Not permit. Okay. Uh, permit or deny. Permit or deny. Okay. In the extended, what we can do? So it we even okay. we can block your network. Or the particular device. Okay. Or even it will work in your ports. Ports. Okay. Or use. Or uh, based on your this one of the protocol. Okay. The condition is whether we can permit or deny. This is what we can do, right? Do it right. Yes. Correct. <clears throat> so now. What it does, if any one guy is coming here, okay, so it will allow and access the internet to access this any one of your servers. Correct. So actually, this what you are seeing here, okay, this is called your inside network. So what is this will call? This is outside. your outside. I think you are configured in NATing, right? Mm. Right. So whether you can allow permit as well like, uh, limitations. Yes. Like so, inbound or outbound. Like yes. <clears throat> now what happened here is when there is a one PC which you want he want to access your network. So you are going to apply the ACL. What is going to do here? He's going to block right yes right so maybe there are other users like they want to access your network because you apply the acl here correct so this is going to drop the packets here so this is the problem right so for this problem <clears throat> what are you going to do they have come up with the that is your firewall hmm. Means external user is not going to allow you. He's going to block here. Understood, guys? Yes. So again, firewall has got different uh, types here. Okay. Uh, state uh, state firewall and stateless firewall. So that all, all thing we'll discuss later. This is a problem here. So what does the firewall does now? <clears throat> so what is the firewall is going to do now? So let's discuss that. <clears throat> so let me open this my <clears throat> So let's say now this time you are using your firewall. So same thing you are going to connect for your ISP. So here you are running some network. Any networks, class A networking or any networking. So as usual, I think, you know, I think this part will call it as your inside. And this is called your outside. Got it. So as you know that same thing here also, we are going to do the NATing here. Okay. So NATing, if it is your, if you are using your IPv4 addressing. Okay. If you are using IPv6, NAT not required, guys. Remember. Why it is not required, guys? On. If I am using my internal network, say examples, okay, this is my a, a company like this is my IBM, okay, or any HP company. So I am using IPv6. Do you think required the NAT here? Not required. 
is not required right okay okay it's not required nothing so you have to remember guys this one okay right now we are not using the this one ipv6 uh, here so we are using ipv4 for that the reasons we are using the this thing so same example here we'll take so example this is my isp 4.4.4.4 okay this is my isp ip address so fair uh, thing is i'm using some server so example 8.8.8.8 .8 okay so this all the pieces you am running so network we can say uh, 192 168 1.0/24 so this is my network I have run. So when you configure the NAT, you know, what it does is going to convert your private IP address to your public IP. Okay. So now we shall discuss like what is your stateful firewall. So what is a state proof firewall? So how does it going to work guys? You know, uh, three-way handshaking. Like uh, established request acknowledge. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, three-way handshaking. So what is going to say three-way handshaking? So what it does means is going to send, right? Send a request. To send the request. So for that, okay, is your firewall is going to prepare one table. Again, like a routing table. Yes, or table same table. thing. Yeah. So here is going to come up with the table. So that will call the session table. Or also we'll call one more table that is connection table. The firewall is going to maintain that. So in this, it contain your source ip and destination ip okay and packet type packet type so this table is going to form by your firewall fine so when you know that so when the request come so three way handshaking is going to work here okay so how does it works here When, say, example, uh, this is my uh, 10.1 and this is 10.2, this is 10.3. When these guys send the request, <clears throat> when these guys send the request to access this server, okay, it will make an entry here. How it will make? Okay, 10.1. 10 .1, okay. 8.8. 8.8. Okay, the packet is sync, right? Is going to sync right first time. Mm. Going to access this server. Mm. Correct. Yes. So what it will receive from uh, other side? Response. Response. So what kind of uh, request is that? What kind of request is that? When we get reply, that is sync and acknowledge. Acknowledge. ACK, right? ACK. Correct. Yes, acknowledgement. Yes, right. Hmm. <clears throat> so then it will make an entry here. Same thing. I think you might study the, this. I told you about, about the switch, right? Hmm. How, how does it uh, maintain the, your MAC table? Yes. By sending broadcasting. Broadcast. Because you know, when it keep on uh, uh, making a, in, an entry in, your, in the, your MAC table. Yes. Okay. Same thing here. So here, what it does is going to sync here. Okay. Then when he's replay, he's going to send what? Sync and acknowledge. Okay. So when he's coming back here, okay, it will make an entry here. So next time, again, if you want to send, okay. So example, like again, if you want to send this time, okay. So first, it will check the matter whether I know these guys are available in my table directly. It's sent. When it's coming back, it will allow you. It's not going to drop the packet. It's not going to drop. It will allow you. Okay, fine. So this is the guy who is already available in my MAC table. 
same way these people also 10.2 and 10.3 and protocol type might be anything okay so now what happened here so this guy will become your source now a dot a dot a dot a destination is 10.1 so here what it will receive sync and acknowledged understood guys same mm -hmm. way so example i will be connecting like one more pc here so example uh, so this is my 10.10 .10. Same thing. So this guy is going to send what? So this guy will send the same message. It will make an entry. So 10.10 .10 destination is 8.8.8. .8 .8. send the sync. So this time it will sync. Let me clean this. It will sync. So when you get replay to again, so it will become your, this guy will become your Source sure. and this guy became your destination. Here, then you will see a sync and acknowledged. And this table, guys, this is the interview question. Remember, this is the most interview question they will, will be asked in the firewall basic questions. <coughs> so, firewall will maintain <coughs> which are the tables <coughs> it maintains the session table or connection table. Remember this. So this is, we'll call it as your state full firewall, which will maintain your, all your logs. Is nothing but a logs, right? Yes. Is it? It is nothing but a logs. Logs. So this is a very simple thing. What exactly the firewall is. <clears throat> it's a state full firewall. Yeah, this is called, we'll call it as a state full firewall. So what are the, uh, what about uh, firewall? This one router, router has got, Limitation, right? Yes. So even router also we can use as a firewall, right? But it has got a limitation, like partial, partially to work as a firewall. Correct. Mm -hmm. So whereas the firewall, okay. So it works as a we are full with all security. It will support. And in the routing, in the routers, so there is n number of process ID in OSPF, like one, two, three, four, right? So mm -hmm. we can use like lot of. So whereas in the firewall, we can use only two process ID in OSPF. Remember this. It's quite very important, guys. Two process ID. Two process ID firewall, you can use it. Not more than that. Maybe Why? because you know it is inbuilt because it has uh, the firewall has to uh, intercept lot of incoming and out, uh, outcoming traffic. The hmm. topic, the traffic which is coming inbound, hitting to the firewall, which is traffic, uh, traffic is coming, uh, hitting to the firewall, which is going out. It has to maintain a lot of these tables, right? Hmm. For the reasons that the reasons they have made the limitations. Only uh, two OSPF process ID is going to work. Is it recommended also? No, means that two pro OSPF process ID, but the uh, one two ways. Two, say, exam say example, uh, this is 1.0, right? Yes. Okay, one more network also we can configure 10.0.0.0, .0 okay, slash 8. Okay, this is OSPF 1, this is OSPF 2. That's it. Means two different, only two different networks is available. Only That's two. it. Two different so, network. So network one and network two. So yes. if it's like a, if it's ISPF and the company's a website, so in between it will work as an outside. That is That's, yeah, yeah. And so we'll do, two. yeah, we'll do the lab for this also. Mm -hmm. We'll mm -hmm. do the lab. <clears throat> okay. I hope it's clear, right? Mm -hmm. Madam, understood, madam? Yashoda, madam? Hi, yes, sir. Understood, right? This is a basic thing. What I explained, what is a stateful firewall? Okay, so that's the reasons we require the firewall. It will make an entry. It's like a switch, guys. It will make maintain what is incoming traffic and outgoing traffic. If external user can enable to access it, it will make an entry, it will allow you. Okay, so depending upon the policy, how we are going to apply for your firewall. 
So if you want to see uh, this one about the proper definition, there are a lot of uh, things. Let me open this here. <clears throat> so what is a firewall in networking? See here we can see right. Firewall is a network security device which monitor and filter incoming outgo outgoing network traffic based on the organization previously established security policy. It most basic firewall essentially for the bearing that set between the private internal and network and public internet. So we can see. So this is your firewalls. This is your in your van. This is your internal organizations. At the middle is going to apply your firewall. Okay, so let's discuss, guys. Uh, let's discuss about the which I want to show you. So this is the content, guys, which we are going to discuss uh, this entire this topic, guys. Monitoring the workflow comments, and we are going to also discuss the natting packet flow for uh, service pack free how to create the policies okay so what is the main how you uh, differentiate with other firewall guys so as you know there's a different types of firewalls available in the market right so which are the firewalls do you remember guys mm -hmm. so how many firewalls like available in the market now so let's start from cisco uh, cisco asa so now they have come up with your I firepower. Okay. Then Palo Alto. Palo Alto. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. No, Sufus. Okay. Sufus. Fortinet. Fortinet. Uh, Dell. Dell Sonic Firewall. And HP, they have their own firewall. Right now, which is the best now? So, how do you going to recognize which is the best firewall? Each firewall they have their different features. Okay. So the these firewall, so what we are seeing, Cisco ASA firewall, the first firewall uh, designed by the Cisco. Before this ASA, they were using the VPN box okay, and PIX, separate, separate box. So for VPN separate box, they had to, when the organization required secure the organization, they had to use the two devices. So again, they have come up with the Cisco ASA, that is adaptive security appliances. Okay, so the series we can see in the packet is right, double five zero five and double five zero six, I think one, I think one zero. So these are the world firewall. So now we are not using these firewall guys. Cisco ESA is gone. To remain the competition in the market, they have come up with your Cisco firepower firewall. So what is the uniqueness guys? The Palo Alto is the first firewall who come up with the your IPS. I think you might know about the IPS, right? Because intrusion production system. Intrusion prevention system. Prevention system, sorry. Prevention right. system. Yeah. So Palo Alto is the first, uh, Palo Alto network is the first company. So they are introduced the, your IPS. Okay. Again, they have come up with the other things that is your app ID. Okay. Uh, content ID and user ID. So this is the very advanced features which they have the Palo Alto has become make them more popular. <clears throat> so now this has been already now Cisco also they are using uh, they have introduced their own uh, this thing. 
uh, we should discuss this uh, with the lab also. Okay, the application ID, you know, there are a lot of uh, fake applications available, right? Mm. We have application, the fake contained, fake user IDs, right? Like, uh, like using uh, Vikas ID, I am trying to log in to the NTT laptop, right? Who is, who is going to detect? If I know you are you are all these credentials, okay, I am able to log in, right? Yes, you are able to log in. Right. So like this, they one more uh, firewalls. We have the different features. Same thing, the checkpoint. They have the one feature like Supers, Fortinet. So Dell Sonic firewalls, yes. HP firewalls. Okay. So now, oh, what is the unique feature? Say one one a firewall. They have uh, their own features. So uh, if you talk about the Fortinet, Fortinet uh, is very good in your SD WAN. And they have a lot of these things, products. So let, let's see. So which is the best firewall? So what uh, you can see, let me show you that. Yeah. So if you type here, guys, so Palo Alto Enterprises here yeah, got near uh, uh, quadrant 2022. Okay, 22, uh, yeah. So here it will show you which is the top firewall, the leaders here. So we can see. So now in 2022, Fortinet, I think VMware and Cisco, uh, HPE, Aruba, Palo Alto Network, and this is a this square box is a top, and Juniper is out of the box now. So challenging for them is your Chinese people, Huawei. Right. Okay. So Huawei is the Japanese related network. It's not the Chinese. Huawei. I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese. It's a Japanese touch. Huawei. Huawei. Uh huh. When their mobile phones, they don't uh, use Google applications. Mm -hmm. That was completely. Uh, it's a different. Uh, always a different mechanism of what they use. Huawei. Hmm. It nice keeps changing. See, in 2019, if you see here, so in 2019, okay, the Palo Alto is a number one. So they have a competition between them, guys. So competition is now in the market, guys. Your Palo Alto, Fortinet, Checkpoint, and Cisco. So these all people are pulling now. And Sufa still on the pipeline. And uh, Force Point, they are also coming up. The Juniper Network, still they are not up to the mark. But these the other reasons now still if you see the other reasons uh, I'm focusing more on this technology because you know if you talk about the, these two products if you talk about the Palo Alto the Palo Alto they have the, uh, many different types of product like uh, you have uh, this in uh, Panorama and uh, this is cloud based security that is your Prasma okay so uh, Panorama we shall discuss guys. Okay, in the training, a panorama, what is panorama? But uh, this one, a Prasma is available for your PC and ESE. Uh, that is like your, like in Cisco CCNP. So right now we are dealing with your PC uh, and ESEA. Administrator level. So same thing, I think you might heard about uh, Cisco ICE, right? In the Cisco, uh, Cisco ICE, you have studied, right? Cisco ICE. In Cisco ICE, uh, identity, uh, identity search engine. Okay, so what it does means it will check the authentication for the users. Okay, so in the different parameters like your pattern or eye contact, whether a username, password, like, I guess, uh, yeah. yeah, like uh, third party authentication, like Google authentication. Microsoft authentications. So that I'll show you when I'm trying to log in for the Palo Alto network. So uh, how we can, I think you might know, right? Because I think in the, the if you want to uh, download any applications in your entity laptop, any company laptop, so you yes. need to authenticate. You need yes. to install your, in your mobile phone uh, authenticator. Yes. So that is the job of your Cisco is. Same way for the Palo Alto, they have, we'll call it as a Prasma. Yes. Okay, so very interesting technology, guys. Same for the Fortinet. Fortinet also they have a very good resource on the top firewall now. So they are, as per my knowledge, guys, so they are very good in SD band. 
HDVR and cloud. So right now, the other reasons, the most of the organizations totally they are using these parts. Okay, the requirement if you talk about guys, so the coming because you know another couple of months. Okay, to get the placement in the organization, so you must know you are with the CCNA with any one of these firewall specialization guys. Remember this. Any one of these firewall, you must know knowledge. Okay, CCNA plus any firewall knowledge is required. If you know the SD WAN, okay, so SD WAN from Cisco or that is Cisco, right? Cisco, Viptela or any, is it will be add on advantage. If you certify it, still it will make sense for you. This is just guys, general idea guys. This is, it can go through like what exactly, which is the top firewall. So next come to the, the content guys. So this is what the contents which we are going to discuss. <clears throat> so learn for the Palo Alto firewall training guys. So first we will discuss the architectures, firewall, like basic setup of the firewall. So how a basic, how we are going to configure uh, your GUI and CLI based. We are going to configure how we can access your uh, remotely and even a GUI interface. And we'll also do some routing protocol like static default, and we'll do configure for the OSPF and BGP also will do it. And the possible RIP also will do, okay. And BGP will do. And here also we are going to do with IPv6 also guys. I'm not going to teach only IPv4. We are also discussing your IPv6 as well. Mm. So IPv6, OSPF3, version 3 also will do the configuration. Okay, so implementations, how we can implement and uh, T-shoot also will do, we'll do the NAT, okay, PAT, this also we should discuss. Okay, so this is quite very interesting, very important for any, uh, this one firewall guys. So will comparison between the year, I think, you know, right, what is this? Let's say these are all topics. This is called a VPN. So VPN we're going to configure from side to side. We're using uh, IE version one and version two as well. We'll do the two version. And we'll not discuss the Cisco uh, ESA, uh, but we shall discuss uh, the what is the different operating system we are using the different uh, companies. Let's say Cisco ESA, they are using Nine context, uh, Fortinet uh, 7.0, Checkpoint, they are using the Gaia uh, 81, Juniper, uh, Juni uh, OS. Just four, I'm not going to explain in more details, but we'll do the configuration for the VPN that is site to site, okay, okay, and site to remote. So we'll do lab for both for IP using IPv4 and using IPv6. We'll do the both the labs. <clears throat> and same thing, uh, this is quite very important, especially for your security perspective. We'll do for geo access using the higher availability. So we'll do this all lab. So antivirus profile, anti spyware file blocking profile, how we can create the policies. So this all talks we shall discuss. And some initial configurations. We'll do your user ID introduction. What is user ID? Okay, uh, only authorized person can access. Okay, this is the complete curriculum if you see. So if you want, I'll share you this uh, content, introduction of the firewall and what is SSL, SSDP. We'll do this. <clears throat> Geo access so and commands is slight difference guys it's not like same entire thing are almost all same the few commands are uh, different than cisco same thing so we'll do the lab this is all the lab guys what i mentioned here this is all the labs so i think most probably i think i'm going to explain around uh, uh, 30 labs guys yeah 
okay so that also discuss so which are the platform we can do the labs okay that also we should discuss so let me uh, complete this then this are the content guys i'll show you just have a look here the content we can see okay virtual routing like OSPF stuff, not so stub area, redistributions. And here BGP guys. Okay. So BGP, we are going to discuss more details. You can see, right? We're not going to uh, BGP uh, version six. Table, routing table, next stop self, route reflector, authentication, aggregation, and redistributions. So we shall discuss more on the BGP. And obviously, the VPN is quite very important. High availability, user ID, content ID. We can see here you the content ID. This all lab will do it. And application IDs are also available. That also will do it. Okay, so what else features, guys? Let me discuss, like, uh, discuss the lab. Where we can do this lab? There are many these things, guys. Platform. Uh, the first thing is uh, stimulation. So if you talk about simulations, uh, I think first thing is it will come to mind that is your GNS3. And uh, second thing is your EVE. Okay, I think you might know about the EVE, right? And next thing is I think we have the PNIT labs. Uh, and now one more lab is, I think, a Bexcom labs, okay. And uh, other thing is your uh, real devices. The real devices, like all your real devices, like your uh, any firewall, like your Palwall too. Or any. Because we have to book, uh, book because as you know that it's all the expensive device. So this option is not a good idea because you know it's very expensive. So buying the real devices for the lab for your hands-on because most of the uh, people, even top engineers, they'll go for your simulation. Whether they'll take go for the GNS3 or EVNG. So right now uh, we are most of the lab we are doing in Eve. <clears throat> Okay, so so Pinit lab also available. I think uh, Bescon lab also available. This all uh, this I will show you this all. So we can download from your laptop or desktop if you have the high end hardware available in your place. We can install it. And most of the labs we are doing the EVNG. Okay, and if you want to go for the real uh, like a rental lab rental. The so lab rentals, the many, if you check, if you uh, Google it, we can find a lot of these things. So one of the top what I have seen, uh, that is fast lane. The fast lane, uh, this is the UK based company. So they will give the, all the lab guys. Okay, that uh, website I'll show you. The fast lane is available in Bangalore. Uh, I think this is available in World Trade Center uh, Center in Yashwantpur. There's a big building, right? There's an Amazon office there. Oh, yes, sir, sir, uh, this one, no. Uh, Orion building. Yes, Orion Mall, right? Makes yeah. a big building, right? There is Amazon yeah. office yeah. also available. So there, uh, this office is available. Okay. So we can uh, check there. So I think I'll, I have opened that one also. I think let me open that. Fast line. Not this. Just to have the idea, guys, nothing else. Yeah, so this one. So this is the website, guys. So we can. So this is the website, guys. Like if you want to go through it. Okay, so here. So I use this. This fast land, so all the certification are available. If you talk, talk about Cisco, so they will give the rental rack because you know uh, some uh, engineers they want to 
take the lab rental uh, you can book your rack okay so cisco citrix dell easy counseling even you can take your google cloud also microsoft netapp palo alto if you take over the palo alto uh, this they will also give the training because you know they offered me to the job i think many i think uh, seven eight years ago because in 2015 i used this rack so uh, 2015 i used this for uh, cisco ucs the office is available the fast line this is a uk based company in the world trade center in ashanpur so this is available in bangalore this office the training we can see the details here they, these people also give the training and but they are very expensive guys you can see the exam code is pcedu 210 so right now we are dealing with the 210 guys if you check the cost is very expensive okay if you want to uh, download the pdf content course outline <clears throat> Okay, you want to go through this website, so I'll put it in chat box, guys. Okay, open this. I'll send in the chat box. And these are the few courses, guys, which I want to discuss. <clears throat> So right now we are dealing with this guys PC and SA okay Palo Alto Network uh, Security Administrator and this is the expert level security engineers guys so we have to plan for this exam <clears throat> this exam EDU two one zero yeah it's EDU one uh, two one zero okay so these are the exam you can go through this certification this is deal with the your panorama and this is your prasma and this is your about the troubleshooting okay let's go to the uh, palo alto official website i think this is the content and this is the content which i showed you guys if we discuss about the devices so this is the palo alto firewall like look like guys you can see this is the low end so what we can see, this is a very low end. Uh, we are not using this one. A uh, few organizations, they are using it. We can see the capacity is very less. 100 Mbps uh, threat this information. Okay, now uh, I want to ask you the very important question, guys. Why this, these firewalls has become very popular? See, as I told you that, okay, let me, I'll go, go through the, this one, devices specification and details. See, uh, regarding the ACL, what do you study it? Okay, whether it's going to block the network, okay, protocol, then Port. ports. The condition, what we can apply? Whether we can access or we can, we can permit or deny. Or deny. So apart from this, we cannot do anything, right? Yes. Limitations. Okay. So in your organizations, okay, say example, if we talk about any uh, social media network, say about the Facebook. So Facebook.com. So the Facebook.com, so we should permit. Okay. Then your facebook okay dot com slash uh, messenger should deny correct yes okay then facebook dot com uh, slash there is a game in uh, facebook right yes, people will game. okay we should permit the facebook website but we should block these people so this is the feature which is very good in the firewall the particular applications that yeah talks, the application session. base means application what does it indicate yes. so based on the particular application means is going to work in your all seven layers this application session Sorry. all Sorry. all layers is going to work means it will intercept from your top layer to your bottom layer 
layer one to layer seven. So previously the firewall they had designed only for the bottom layers, like the physical layer, data link layer, network layer. Again, ACL, it will base on the port numbers, it will be up to transport layer. So now this firewall, we, that the reason we'll, we will call it as your next generation firewall. Ooh. Same thing, suppose example, you are allowed for the WhatsApp. WhatsApp.com. Okay, you are not supposed to download the videos. Means this is the application, right? This is all applications. Mm. Means to download anything, we are using some applications. But you can visit the website. Say, Messenger, you are not allowed to do the chatting. But you can visit the Facebook website. Same thing, right? I think because you know, so in your laptop, in your company, in your laptop, I think in your entity. So I think you can see, uh, we can open your uh, Facebook, right? Yes, I can open it. You can open, right? So did you try for, uh, try to install, uh, can you do the chatting? Uh, no, touch. I haven't tried it. But, Just try. Uh, Just try once because, you know, in entity, I know. So they are using the Cisco, uh, Cisco ICE. ICE, yes. Cisco ICE they are using. So I think they have blocked this one. Yes. Means we are not, we, you can open the website, but we cannot do the charting and some gaming also available and some news. You are not allowed to watch the news. Okay, that's the reason we'll okay, we'll call it as your next generation firewall with because of the it going to work in all the seven layers. Mm. Interesting, guys. Yes. Okay, so let me show you the one more interesting thing. So let's open my this is the official website of the Palo Alto Network, guys. So just uh, my recommend for you guys, so please go through. So I'll put it in chart box right away. So we can register yourself and there is some very good uh, uh, videos are available if you uh, go through it. So what is this uh, Cartex XRD? This is totally the uh, cloud-based firewall guys. So what we can see, these all are the cloud-based firewall. Yeah. So we can see uh, this is the your PCN certification preparation workshop. So I hope we can watch some videos are also available. We can go through it. And um, before that, you should register. I guess. Uh, let me get start. And this is the latest one, I think. Now it has become uh, third place now. They have the war between them, guys. We saw the firewalls. They're asking you to go for uh, Palo Alto Indian website. So register yourself so we can see, go through like, which other technologies. So these people are giving automatic uh, security on cloud. As I told you, there's this is a Prisma, Prisma cloud. Prisma. So cloud. Prisma cloud, automation security operations, Adapt Zero Trust, security, network security, and uh, security hybrid workforce. And this is uh, respond faster with the threat intelligence and security. So just go through it, the website, register yourself. Okay. So already I shared this link, go through it. Mm. Okay. He's asking us this uh, so Prisma trial request. You can take the trial request as well if you want. And security is quite very different, guys. Here, mm. even if you try to log in, so let me try to log in here. So let me open.
login page. So this other thing guys, before you register yourself, we should come across this because it's yesterday I have configured this one for authentication for my app. The different type of login because you know it will not allow you for all the users to log in, guys. It will not allow you until unless you get a uh, self authenticate uh, by yourself. As you know, this company is famous for what security, right? Yes, so that's the reason so it will get a lot of uh, these thing uh, authentications. Okay, it will not allow you for every people to access their. Uh, Company products. We can see all these services are available, next generations, firewalls. And this has become more popular. So these are the devices. This is the latest of all the firewalls, like uh, 5400 series. 54, this is the all latest one. If you go through, I uh, request for all the guys to just go through it once. I have the document, but right now I don't want to share you the document, guys. Okay, so let's uh, we'll do some at least two three weeks training. So then only we can able to understand it. So usually, as you know that I don't share any document unless you complete at least fifty to sixty percent of your silvers. Yes. Fifty two hundred, thirty two hundred. So depending upon the scale of your organization, number of requirement. So we can take this firewall, and this is the cloud gen next generation IOM and even good thing is it also support for your cloud your enterprise network even the iot also iot device also it is going to support so you want i'll show you this link as well you are getting the links right and what i'm sharing yes. Yes. in chat box you are getting it yeah yeah so that's the reason i'm sharing this so just have a look with all this uh, Marks here. Yes. asking to register if i don't want to register this you'll get the mails so if you want you can attend this seminar or webinar whichever you want okay guys so i hope this is clear right this is the content guys this also i'll share you this entire content okay so let me save this So, I don't know where I saved this. This is a world one, guys. Here, what we are seeing here 5000 series appliances for more details. So, I don't want to discuss this one. So, can you jump for the lab now? We'll take the break. Can you jump for the lab, guys? Yes, sir. Madam, are you there? Sir? Are you there, ma'am? Ah, yeah, I'm here. Following. Okay, so can we take break and can we can I show you the some basic slabs for the Palo Alto? So yeah, yeah, sure, sure. How many minutes? 15 or uh, 20? 15 minutes, that's it. Just to pay yeah. okay. okay. See what I did. Okay, just I log into my uh oh, when you started the, your uh you open your VMware at that time it's a five just came. You, you joined, right? Okay, fine. Oh yes, I kept it at mute because you're uh, explaining something. So I don't want yeah. to interrupt. So what I did means just I had checked this is the IP address where I got from my DSCP server, okay. One oh one. Oh, so yes, one oh one, and uh, you're just ping to google.com as well, and you're yeah. checking it up there. Now I am logging to my EU. Okay, admin EVE. That's it. So this is a local listing. So I want to go for the local console. 
So these are the few labs which I did previously for the Palo Alto, some basics labs. So I will do right from scratch for you guys. So let me open the here. I'll open the new batch. So this is the dashboard guys, where you can see, so I'll go for the dark mode, not effect. <clears throat> so I have loaded a few, already pre-loaded uh, a few image files for the, all the vendors. So a few vendors I already installed. Okay, so how do uh, I can check here? Just right click node. So where you can see the Cisco, if you type Cisco. So these are all the vendors, I think I showed you already, Cisco ESA, 8000 series, which are the blue color, what we can see that is, it has been installed already. CSR router, Cisco service router, Cisco firepower, this is Cisco latest firepower. IPS, uh, Cisco ICE, ISR router, this is the your data center uh, switches. Cisco UCS, IOS router, and these are the wireless. Okay, right now we're dealing with the Palo Alto. So Palo Alto, so I, have, uh, so I have installed the Palo Alto Panorama and uh, Palo Alto Firewall. So right now we're dealing with the Palo Alto the Firewall, it is the latest one. Okay, right now I need only one node. Okay, the firewall symbol also we can change, like whichever you want. Okay, Nexus, MPLS. These are a few image files are available. So right now it has selected already. Uh, this is the Palo Alto firewall. See, but default it is taking four GB of RAM. Okay, so I don't want this one. I want to take the high end. So I'll take the 16 GB of RAM. Okay, uh, with uh, uh, let's say I will use the four CPU. Okay, so I'll be opening on VNC or Telnet. Okay, let's take. VNC or Telnet or anything. 16 GB so that it can load fast. Right now I want one firewall. So here I'm going to show you the how to give the IP address for the firewall and how we can access the CLI and how we can access your GUI interface. Mm. It is objective. Okay, so let's take one firewall. Now on two routers or four routers I want to take. Let's say Cisco IOIS router. Let's say I want to take the four routers, each one two CPU. I'll take uh, four, four, four GB RAM so that it can boot fast because I have the sufficient uh, infrastructure. So if you want to see the infrastructure, see my, uh, this is my uh, server details, uh, R720, 16 CPU. Okay, 16 CPU, uh, 16, uh, this way I will get virtual, 32 virtual core. So I have sufficient uh, this thing. RAM for uh, 192 TB, GB, which is sufficient. I can use the four means eight, 16, 16, I can use it. I can use more also. i let it boot faster. Yeah. No. So I want to use one uh, for the management. I want to use one network uh, that is say management code one. 
So where I can connect it. This is how we have to connect guys, because once you on the devices, you are not supposed to connect. You cannot connect it. Okay. So we can see this is how we can connect it. I'm doing right from scratch guys. Okay, so here I should connect with the management. You can see management port. See, as we can see, there is no management port. So what we can do, so we have to add the interface here. So management port is connected here. Can you see? Delete this one. So what I can do, edit. So what I will do means I will take the six interface. So now I think I can able to connect it with fourth interface. Now I can connect to the management. Right now I have connected to the cloud one. Uh, <clears throat> so what I'm going to uh, explain here, so let me on the device, guys. all the devices we can add at the same time or as individual also we can do. So more action, just click on the more action, start all the nodes. Okay, so we can add it here. Start all the nodes. So here is the indications, you can see it's getting added. So it takes time. So meanwhile, what I will show you, edit tab, port. So meanwhile, so I will write it on the IP address. Okay, so how I can write the IP addresses. So let's say 192.168.1.1 1 slash 24. Uh, let it keep it uh, tall font size bold uh, friend font color black let's say I'll take it So good thing is guys, so we can make duplicate for this. Okay, so we can give IP address like this. This is 1.2. Got it. So let it put like this. Same thing I can make it for this. Madam Arthur, the Madam Nuve.
Vikas, are you there, man? Yes, Taj. You are following me what I am doing here? Yes, Taj. Okay. Just I am assigning the IP address now. Hmm. Nothing, yes, nothing, nothing else I am doing. Yes. Just putting the label so that uh, because it's quite very important to understand because you know. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. So. Okay, so let me open this. Just click on the icon. Ultra VNC. I don't want to open in VNC. So... And this one I don't find secure CRT. I think you can able to see the screen, right? Uh, sir, can you increase this font now? Font. This one, current font. Yeah, yeah. Is it okay, ma'am? No? Uh, yeah. Same thing because what we did in uh, packet is uh, the commands are same for the Cisco. Remember okay. here, first understand. Yes. So let me explain some uh, few interesting things here. So remember guys, these all four routers what I'm using, these all are belongs to Cisco. Okay. The FARA which I'm using, this is the belongs to your Palo Alto network. Understood. <clears throat> okay, what I'm trying to do here, okay, so we'll do some basic configurations. Okay, you'll also create some loopbacks here. So loopback one, uh, we'll create up to seven loopbacks. In this same topology, so we are going to configure uh, how to access the CLI, the first task. Second thing, how to we can uh, give the you access your GUI. And third point is uh, how to assign the IP address for your firewall, for the Palo Alto firewall. Okay. And then we'll configure your, uh, this one, a static and default routing. Okay, static and default routing. 
And uh, fifth one is if possible, we'll do uh, say your rip. I don't want to go for the rip, guys. I want to go for the OSP of directly. So we'll do right now. Today is not possible to com complete these all tasks. So right now I want to uh, complete these three tasks. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. So let's do that. I think my server is booted now. So one more thing is there is an issue for the uh, Palo Alto firewall guys. I think for especially for the stimulation part. Okay. So here, the password, the default username and password is admin admin. Okay, so it will give some errors. I think you can check here, admin, admin. You can see, right? So it will show you the error. Let me I will decrease this one to 125, you'll see. It will reset also after a few uh, seconds because you know. So I'll show you some documents which I have it. Uh, device. Nothing yesterday. Yeah. So this is a list of like documents uh, where I have installed. Uh, this all image files. These are the username and password. Device name, Cisco ASA, the image version, okay, and password. No password, hit enter, enter. Okay, right now we are dealing with the Cisco IS3. There's so no password. Cisco CSR router and Cisco SD WAN. SD WAN, Victela, VBON, VLAN, and VSMART. Yeah, so we can see right the Palo Alto firewall. Okay, the admin, password admin. So now he's asking prompt new complexity character password. Okay, wait 15 minutes to load completely. It's take, it take a lot of time to load. Okay, so what the reason? So is it will take time. So right now we can see. <clears throat> Yeah. It's the same for all guys, even because because it's a software based, right? If it is a like real device, so once you log in, I think you can able to uh, do this. You can access your Palo Alto firewall device. So I have some document how we can give the IP address. So we can see this is how we can give the IP address, guys. This is the IP address. How to give a set device configuration system IP address? We can give whichever the, but it should be the same network. We have to remember network mask, default gateway, type static. If you want to give the DNS, we can give the DNS as well. Like however you want, so you can able to give this. So it's maybe it's loading gas. Yes, yes, here. So meanwhile, what I'm going to do now. So let me uh, configure the IP address so as per the diagram, okay? So interface gigabyte zero slash zero, IP address 192.168. Okay, so I say no check. Okay, so loop back I will not create right now. So I will create later to show IP interface brief. You can see, so now it is up. So let's give the for router two. Host name. I think you can able to see the screen, right? The commands, what I'm typing, guys. Guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so interface gigabyte zero slash zero. IP address 192.168.2.1. So I say no show.
You guys are there. Some murmuring noise in our home, so that's why I just put it in mute. Huh? Some murmuring noise in our home, Taj, so that's why I just put it in mute. Okay. You are following, right? What I am telling? Yes, yes, you can, Taj. You can able to see the comments, right? What I am telling? Because you do yes, different, yes, yes, uh, yes. different uh, recent platform. It's not a Cisco packet tracer. Well, I could able to follow it up, Taj. I'm following it up, Taj. I think this is my R4. Interface. Just I'm assigning the IP address. That's it. I'm not doing anything. Just the only the basic uh, things for me. So yeah. That, uh, so the mechanism will be going on. So I'm just making it a no problem. So let's so see. Same other interface IP yeah. address thing. All the things are the same only. Uh -huh. So now we can see, guys. Now it is asking login lost April 25 with the date, time, month, and year. Okay. Enter the old password. Old password is admin. Okay, no new password. So I'll give the new password. Confirm. Okay. So now number of fair attempt zero. Okay. Now I think we can, we can able to access our Palo Alto firewall, guys. So we can see how to check uh, these commands like. Uh, whether it has got any IP address through DHCP. So here it means uh, show system information, info. So we can see DHCP is enabled, but it has not assigned any IP address. Can you see? So this is the Palo Alto name and IP address is unknown. The public IP is not assigned. Netmask not assigned, default gateway not assigned. So as an IP address DSCP. So right now I'll not give the DSCP, I'll give the manually. Okay. So okay. manually I want to give the IP address. Okay. Okay. So uh, so show system information, right? Yeah, yeah. Whereas in packet reserve we use uh, uh, show run, show run, show run, show run no. or uh, huh? Do we have any this Palo Alto commands uh, document? Yeah, it is there, man. It is there in my document. I will check. It is there. Yeah. Some basic, yeah, basic commands. You can yeah. see. And one more thing is like uh, how we can, uh, if you want to uh, do that one, if you give mm -hmm. the question mark, same thing. It will show you the commands. Just give the question mark. This is okay. clear, configure, configure, debug, delete, exit, FFTP. So we can see all this list of commands. Okay. Only slight changes will be there, no? Yeah, slight the, changes. Like the, the, yeah, see, slight changes. Okay, even that it is also available. You are this in trace mode. So how to enter? Configure. Just type enter. It will take you to the configuration mode. You can see right. It will enter to the your configuration mode. From here, we can able to configure your IP address for this firewall. Okay, so how do we configure? You can see, right? Set network, so give the question mark. It will show you the commands. That is very good uh, things here. The commands, I think I have this thing. I can copy paste here, device configuration. Same thing I can copy and paste. Right now I want to give the, I'll put it in same network. So my network here is 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.0 network at home. So same thing, rather than doing this, I can paste it or else it's not copy paste is not working. Okay, so set device configuration give the question mark, system, okay, IP, address. So what is IP address uh, uh, given? We can give, uh, but thing is my network is 75. So I want to give the same one, okay, 192, 168, 0 dot. We can give any this thing, let's give, I'll give 50 this time, 0 dot 50. And now is asking net mask. What is the net marks for this? 255, 255, 255.0, correct? 
okay default gateway so what is the default gateway so 192.168.0.1. Okay, this is my default gateway, guys. That is my uh, Wi-Fi router, uh, which is connected for this one. Default gateway. Okay, now I can give the question mark. So here, at least of this type I want to give. So if you want to allow the static type, static or DSCP. Okay, so I want to give, uh, uh, give type static. That's it. So of course, if you want to give DNS, also we can give this DNS. Okay, it's better to give the DNS as well. Same thing, set device configuration system, okay, IP address, so not IP address. I think DNS, yeah. DNS setting. Okay, uh, this is our server. Okay, remember here it will ask you the server for your two things whether you want to go for the primary server or secondary server. So, here what I am going to do, I will use both server primary. I will give some IP address, say example 8.8.8. .8 .8. Okay, and secondary, I will give 8.8.8.10. .8 .8 .8 So the other reason, so already I put it like this, you can see here, a.8 and a.9. Okay, a DNS server, primary and secondary. DNS setting server, that is my a.8.8.8, I think, and this is my primary, a.8.8.8. Secondary is a.8.8.9. Okay, after this, we must give commit. This is quite very important, guys. Otherwise, it will not save this one. So it's taking a long time because, you know, uh, it will save this one. So then only we can able to go for your uh, GUI interface. I think we should connect on PC here. I forgot to connect that one. Mm, let's see. Yeah, so now we can see the exit from here. Same command we can use it. Okay, previously what we did, that is show system information. So let's see whether he has taken. Yeah, you can see, right? So 0 0.50. So this is IP address. So what we have configured, right? So how to ping us? In Palo Alto, for one. So ping host 192.168, ping to the gateway. And because we are not yet enable the ping. Right, we are not yet enable the ping. Let's do it later, this one. So can you able to access the GUI interface? Let's see. How do we can access the GUI interface? So HTTPS colon, so 
Yes, remove this yes now. Let's do this. And yeah, so what we'll do is like, I think I should connect one PC here because I have connected, connected this NAT. So because I cannot, I, uh, if I delete and connect the PC, it will not give the connection here. Let's say I will connect one Windows, Windows 10 now. So let's say we shall take two. So it will not give the connection. Can you see? I should have this router, this firewall, then I can able to connect it. This is one problem here. So let's see, because I on another uh, this thing. Root. Okay. So I'll open one more EU. So one ninety five. And this is the uh, another lab. Okay, so I have configured the static uh, default routing. Uh, this is little, little bit be very complicated for you guys. IPv4, yeah, PGP. Is this lab? No. The VPN. Let's open, we'll see this one itself. So let me uh, edit that. So this will open the network. This I'll show you how to access the geo uh, interface, how the dashboard look like for your Palo Alto fiber. So this is, I think, uh, how is look like guys? You can see uh, configure terminal. So now we are entered because we can see these are the basic commands. So I'll show you a few commands for the Palo Alto uh, this thing firewall. Let it boot the other guy. So then I'll show you these uh, few basic configurations. We can I'll show you the how to create the your uh, this one profile here. So let's create one profile here. So how to create the your interface uh, management profile. So here we can see set. 
okay uh, network profile interface management profile so let's say i will give my name uh, i'll give the full name okay so then uh, why we are using or doing this means until unless you enable this on any uh, application any protocol you, you should enable it then only we can do that function so example uh, i am going to enable the p so how we can do set network profile interface management profile with uh, tajuddin so if you give the question mark here so these are the services guys where you can see you should you can able to enable it this all services we can able, able to enable it so let's say i i want to use the ping yes ping what do you want to ping you want to ping yes i am enabling the ping okay so this is how we can uh, enable your function guys let's say the other guy is booted yeah let's move open so it's loading now let it be load okay meanwhile so we'll I'll, I'll show you how to create the this one so then we can see this uh, how to check guys then how to change the host name guys do you know did i told you you can change the host name also that simple as is set uh, uh, device i should enter the configuration mode set device configuration system host name so i'll give palo alto firewall 1 okay so this is how we can give then we can give uh, the command now let's see whether this guy is open okay fine i think master is open now admin also yes so i can able to log in this one Somebody is asking again, Arno. I have noticed first time it was showing some this thing, Monday, April 24, wrong date. So again, it has been corrected again, April 26. Okay, so I think this guy has booted now. So exit to system of info so we can see the IP address okay it has been changed the firewall one so gateway so everything IP address assigned static not fine Yes, so let's see. So ping host 192.168.0.1. It's pinging, but unreachable. Okay, we have to enable there also, no problem. Okay, so here see uh, show system 
Okay. Okay, this guy has got 150 guys. Let me check this one whether I can able to access the GUI interface. Okay, IP address which I got it 150. You can see right. So this is IP address guys. So which I assigned previously. Gateway I have given same gateway because it is in my network zero dot network. So let's check this guy now. This is Yeah. Okay, so I can able to log in, guys. So admin, give the password. So I can able to log into the GUI of, of your Palo Alto per one. Now it's loading now. So this is very the basic thing what I showed you guys. So this is the dashboard. This. So telemetric data collections. Command later. Okay, this is the dashboard, guys, where you can see the device name, what I have given. So let me explain this. So this is the device name. So what I have given to you guys, and this is the management IP address. So where you can see this IP address here, right? How I access your GUI interface. And this is your uh, network mask, net mask. And this is the gateway. Okay, and IPv6 we are not given. And this is, uh, we also are not given. This is the name of the module. Okay, CPU ID, KVM, and virtual core. I'm given the four uh, virtual core. And memory has given 16 GB of RAM. And the software I am using the latest one, 10.1.1. So these all parameters, guys, we can see the dashboard. And see the login in admin uh, 0.130.173. Okay, so we can see why it's showing this one. So because of 190 previously, it was showing that different one. 173, the previously sessions, I think last time, last session is showing a different IP address. This all details, guys, we can see description, login, who has login, when you log in, all details we can see. And the system resource, CPU, uh, I'm using 48%. And still uh, other process. So we'll be having the management CPU and uh, management CPU and data plane and section count. So this is something guys I want to explain uh, that is your management plane. Okay, data plane. Okay, and control plane. Okay, this thing guys I'll uh, discuss later. So when I start uh, the session, so this is quite very important guys. These all are quite very important. I'll discuss it later, not now. We can see, I think a monitor, if you click on the monitor, this is a list of parameters we can see. Okay. There's a lot of parameters like where we can see uh, policy we can create, we can uh, traffic controlling threats, URL filtering, data filtering, wildfire submissions, HIP match, your global protection, user ID, description, tunnel inspection, graphics. So only the monitoring, these are the data monitorings. 
is all the parameters we can able to configure it. So in the policy, if you go for the policy here, we can get the policy like uh, intra zone or extra zone. I think previously I did some configuration allowed and denied. I think this is the topology. I think where uh, I had done this one. Okay, and NAT also we can configure the quality of service, policy based forwarding, decryption, encryption, tunnel inspection. So this sort of thing like even SD band, so DOS protection, objects, in the objects, these are list things we can configure. So URL filtering, a lot of things we can learn guys in. So right now they're saying these are the things, uh, IP address which I have given, same uh, lab, what I did, same thing, the no difference. Right now I am on this one just to show you how we can access it. So here we have connected the PC because you know I shouldn't. <clears throat> and devices from here also we can able to have the device guys. Service also we can go and even you can configure the routing also. Operations. If you go for device operation, we can restart the device or shut down the device. From here also we can shut down your device guys. It will get off. If I, if I click here, so I don't want to do do that right now. So I want to show you something. Uh, this is how we can able to ping. So ping host. Let me ping to my gateway zero dot one. Okay, so I'm getting a reply, right? Can you see? So even I can ping to my Google dot com eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Yes, I do have the reachability. Okay, so even I can ping to my google.com, check whether it is connected to, yes. Okay, I, I can able to ping to my Google, right? I'm getting reply. Okay. It's a very simple lab, guys. I hope, I think you understood, guys. Because. Yes, sir. So what uh, I understood. It is like uh, giving some uh, because uh, if I get any uh, as ma'am told me if you provide any that uh, key codes and anything that will be mm -hmm. okay on the command first. Okay, so commands. What I can do? Uh, I will share you these commands. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's say I think I have not given any this thing commands. So let me show you that uh, export. By node somewhere, I think. Set node startup export. I think not this one. Same thing. How? Uh, what are the things we did? Same thing we can see here. All the commands. What are the commands I use? So we can able to see. Same thing how I used to do, right? Control export. All the commands we can able to see. The dashboard. <clears throat> so this is the dashboard look like, guys. You can see, right? The content ID, the wildfire sessions, HSM, CFC. So still first day of this training, right? It, it may not understood. So that's the reasons I don't want to go further. Okay. So I want to stop this training right now. And tomorrow we'll, I will do uh, some basic configuration. I will not jump directly over the lab. So I'll take some theory part, some other topics basic. I'll go slowly, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Okay. Okay.